Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. In today's video we are actually diving into uh, what I do like about different applications. So you might have seen uh, videos of me talking about what I dislike. Now I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to talk about the things I really like about each and every note taking application. So this might take me a while to finish the whole series. But we are starting off with Tooth, which is an application. I have talked about a lot on this channel because I think it is a really good application and in today's video I am talking about why I actually love this application so much and there are multiple different things. Uh, so let's start with the first one and that is that the application is really easy to use so there isn't like many different uh, many different like complex things inside of here and also uh, the terminology makes sense so inside of many different uh, note-taking and productivity applications they have like different names for the same thing uh, I like the fact that this has lists sub lists and things uh, and uh, things can be like a to-do or a bullet, which all makes sense. It is simple. It is like really, really easy to understand. Uh, I also like some small uh, things that make makes this uh, a lot simpler to use, like the fact that I can go into my uh, list. Let's actually open this up and I can... Uh, go to more options and I can actually change things here. So one of the things I, I have changed is that uh, I don't show completed things. That is actually how I archive my different ideas and they are still here if I ever want to look for them. So if I have a YouTube video idea, uh, which uh, is just something I'm showing off in the video. I'm actually not using this. I use this more as a bullet journal application to capture emotions and thoughts rather than actually using it for um, things like managing my social media. Uh, but uh, you could actually manage everything inside of there. I have done huge projects using twos. Uh, so it is simple, but it is still powerful. That's probably the uh, the main thing uh, or the main theme uh, about this application. And the next point is that it is very, very customizable. As I showed you, you can jump into more options here and you can make templates. You can reset lists daily. You can change the review on this. So they have a feature where you can review your notes. It was sort of like a serendipity mode inside of different applications. Uh, you can, um, as I said, you can change things here. Uh, you can show to do's in to do's. You can show a progress circle. You can show completed things. And there is a bit of a customization to this and you can also share things quite easily. Uh, so I love the fact that it is uh, really customizable. That wasn't on purpose. Uh, I didn't mean to check that off, but that isn't a problem. Um, so as I said, really customizable application. You can like nest things in lists and sub lists. I'm playing a little bit around with my uh, organization inside of uh, here as well but uh, the point being that it is really customizable you can actually do a lot with this application and um, the organization it feels like really easy to uh, find where you put something uh, which has been a problem of mine inside of different applications but I like the fact that it uh, it allows me to organize, it allows me to customize, but it is still really easy to use. And that brings me to uh, my most important point, and that is that this application grows with you. So uh, I have tested out applications where like, uh, there is a ceiling to how much you can actually do. Uh, at one point you can't like, there isn't a um, more things to do you can't make it more complex as your workflows gets more complex but 
this uh, application too it is really versatile in that way so it can you can start off with just using your uh, daily uh, your today page and just taking simple notes so I can write about how I felt today uh, like this and just start off there and just capturing things as you go but um, after you've done that and after you feel comfortable with just capturing things you can start playing around with lists to have like your book notes inside of here I have my book notes here as you can see and let's say uh, you have uh, captured your book notes as well and you want to highlight things you can actually do that as well so you have the ability to do formatting inside of here as well so there are a bunch of different options um, for you to like keep growing within the application and that is something I like a lot so again just to show you how highlighting works let's pick a color and it is highlighted uh, so you have uh, the ability to do things like that as well I also like the fact that uh, they uh, update the app quite regularly um, which isn't something that every productivity and note-taking application can say that they do uh, but they update uh, the app regularly and they are really good at communicating with the community which is another issue many applications have had uh, it's just the fact that it is simple it is easy to use it will grow with you you have the ability to customize the app uh, a lot like everything from your colors uh, to how you view your lists so there are many things to like about this application and I think that this is best for uh, people who are either tired of like really complex uh, note-taking applications because we have a lot of them or for people that uh, just don't want to get too heavily invested into PKM they just want to remember things they want to remember their to-dos, their events, their thoughts, ideas. I think the application uh, is best for those. And I also feel like the, uh, the overall user interface and the experience of using the application is getting better and better. Uh, you also have like the ability to see uh, a split view as well. So as I said, they keep updating the application and I would say that I probably am recommending this to uh, everyone. I, everyone in my friends uh, group and everyone in my family because it is so easy to use and it is a lot less complex than a lot of the other applications out there. So if you feel a little tired of the whole uh, idea of PKM and you just want an easy and quick way for you to capture thoughts and ideas. I would say that this is one of, if not the best application for that out there. If you want to know more about the idea behind Tuse, I have a podcast episode for you to listen to and I will link it somewhere up here. And as usual, let me know if you have any uh, questions, uh, leave them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching.